What's up, man? It's your boy, the Feinstein. Welcome. Come back at you with another one, man. Today, we're going to talk about wisdom. You hear me? We're going to talk about why wisdom is not knowledge. I want y'all all to be wise. You hear me? So I'm, I'm going to give y'all my definition of wisdom. So look, when I'm talking about wisdom, I'm not talking about general knowledge, like something you would use on a game show or a trivia show or something like that. That's knowledge. Wisdom is different. Wisdom is the speed that you see good and bad as neutral. You accept both sides. You come to the middle right here. Balance. That's wisdom. See, usually it goes like this. Something happens to you and you choose to judge it as negative, right? So that means you bury the benefits and become unconscious to the good of it. We become conscious to the negative and judge it as a bad thing. Bad, bad, bad. No good in it. Just a straight bad thing, right? But it's the same thing in reverse when we're infatuated with something. We become like so blinded by the positives that we can't see the negatives. So you judge it positively. It's a positive thing. Good, good, good. You don't see the bad. Same thing in reverse. When something happens, we judge as bad. We're blinded to the benefits. So that causes a time delay. And over time, the benefits of it will start to show themselves to you finally, because you didn't choose to see them at first. You were blinded to it. Over time, down the line, you will start to see the good in whatever you thought was so bad. OK, so you accidentally walked in on your wife sleeping with the next door neighbor. Dang, that's going to mess you up, right? After about five, ten years, you got you a whole nother woman. Y'all got the kids. Y'all got the life. Y'all living good. You'll start to see that it wasn't as bad as what you thought. She wasn't even all, the other wife wasn't even all that anyways. Like it was something you felt forced into. You guys were young. You got married early. Something like that. But you'll start to see all the benefits years down the line. Finally, that that was a good thing. You would thank that woman for for cheating on you. Now now you have what you really want. Like that's the time delay when you don't when you don't choose to accept both sides from the beginning. The longer this time delay, the less conscious you are. You're refusing to see the other side of the event. You're hanging on to this side. You just want to be attached to this side. That's bringing your vibration down very low and it's making your vibration go very slow and it's it's halting you from reaching the next level of your mental and spiritual self. Wisdom is the speed of non-judgment. The time it takes you to realize that the good, the bad, the happy, and the sad are all one entangled event. They all balance each other out. It's all neutral. If it takes you five years, then that's one level of wisdom. If it takes you five minutes, then you sharp as hell. Ain't nothing going to affect you. This is what low vibrations look like. The very slow and dense. But as you start to sharpen up and wise up, that time delay, gotta hold the damn paper, becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. You're sharpening up. Need to hold this. You're wisening up. It becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. You know, it comes to a point. And before you know it, you're enlightened, you're wise. Now up here, that's what they call enlightenment up there. That's instantaneous realization. You have no time delay. From the beginning, you see the good and the bad as neutral. You're already in the middle. You're, you're enlightened. You're, you're above that. You're seeing it from a higher point of view. You're not down here in the animal mind anymore. This is the animal mind. You're up here in your spiritual angelic mind. This is mass consciousness. This is mastery consciousness. You see both sides from up here automatically. No time delay. This is where you want to get to up here. You don't want to be stuck down here in judgment. You want to be up here. 
you're going to go through some things in life. Everybody goes through things. So this is my task for you guys. My task for you guys is to practice this non-judgment. I want you guys to get it down to seconds, not weeks, not months, not years. I want you to get your non-judgment down to seconds because if you're down here in judgment, you're swinging. You have no control. That's the animal mind down here. You want to be in the spiritual angelic mind, the mastermind that sees both sides. So when your tire pops, I need you to get that non-judgment down to seconds. Don't just see one side of it because most likely you're going to judge it as bad, bad, bad. No, that's not how your spiritual higher self would judge that. Your spiritual higher self already sees both sides and accepts both sides. That is how you want to get it down. When you finally realize and shed your attachment to one side, you'll have a lot of fluidity. You'll be like water. There'll be nothing that can throw you off balance. And you'll do whatever the f*** you want.